Hi, on this video I'm going to show you the new interface that was developed by ENS to our new ENS DVRs and NVR systems. I will break down the video in four different sections so that way you can learn the interface very quick and simple. So now let's begin. Under live view you got some options on the bottom right hand side. You have your page number. This is if you have more than 16 cameras. You can go to the next page or the next camera. Next to it, you got your split screens. If you click on it, you have the options to split the screens to whatever you desire. Let's just select one plus seven. Next to it, you have the auto switch. Auto switch will rotate from the cameras. Then right next to it, you have a panic button. If you click on it, it will start all day continuous recording. Then next to it, you got your full screen. Full screen will make the menu disappear. To get the menu back, just simply right click on the screen. Now on the top, you got your power off button. If you click this, it gives you the options to log out, shut down, and reboot. Next to it, you got your backup button. If you're doing a backup and exit, this will tell you the remaining time for the backup. Next to it, you got your notification menu. If you click on it, it tells you what's going on on the system. From exception alarms to basic events to smart events. On the left hand side, you got two columns. This will enable the smart detection, the vehicle detection, the face detection, the human body detection. How does it work? For example, I have right here a square in the live screen. This is an intrusion. If something or anybody walks in front of this square, it will be triggered. I'm just going to put my hand to show you an example. So any event that was triggered, it will be displayed on the left hand side. In here, you have an option to view the historical analysis. That means a list of all the events that had happened. And then on le the left hand side, you have the option for your camera channels. Now let's go into the menu. Typically on most DVRs and MVRs, you make a right click or you go to the bottom or the top to access the menu. On our new system, the menu is right here. It's this little triangle. Once you click the triangle, you see the menu on the top of the screen. So now let's go to playback. We were at the live view. Let's go to playback. On the playback, you got your options on the left hand side. You first need to select the camera and then on the bottom select the date. For this example, I only have today's date, the 29. In here, you got the playback option as normal or smart. And right here it tells you which playback you are on as you guys can see right now is red it means that it's a smart event I drew a box around the camera so whenever I was putting my hand around that area it was recorded as a smart event then right next to it you have the option to do normal and normal will change to normal and event right next to it you can disable the POS overlay if you have a POS system then you can switch to sub recording but I did not enable the sub recording in here if you have more than one camera you can split the screen and then you have the option for full screen your standard playback pause forward and rewind buttons in here you can trim the clip so that way you can back up a specific time that you're looking for right next to it you have sub periods this goes and puts the recordings into track different playbacks and then you have your external file external file it allows you to play a video from the usb if you have any connected you can watch it here on the dvr or mbr and this concludes the quick features of playback. Let's go back into the other menus. To go to the other menus, simply put your mouse on the top and click on that triangle. And then let's go to file management. File management is like a search, but it allows you to search individual files. 
or individual event types. For example, these are all the different event types that you can choose from. For example, if I just click search, this is how it displays the files. You just double click and watch it on a separate window. If you do not want the file to be deleted by the system, just click on that lock icon and the system will lock that file and will not be overwritten. You can do the same thing with all these three search menus on the right hand side. And this concludes the first walkthrough of the first three menus of the ENS interface. Stay tuned for more videos. Click the like, share and subscribe for more.